Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to some more Terra Genesis episode 12 with our series here. Thank you guys for being patient. I was away on vacation and I actually um, made a mistake when I left, and I'll show you guys exactly what that was. This is a great example of why you should pause your planet before you go uh, away for a long time or don't plan on logging in for a long time. I thought I had paused it, but I guess I didn't. And so what ended up happening was temperature ended up going extremely high. So I'm currently in the process of lowering that. Um, pressure is still, you know, for the most part, fine. It's just got to be lowered. Uh, oxygen went high, so I'm lowering it. And luckily for us, water actually dried all up, but that's better than water flooding. So not too bad. We can kind of make that work. So all that stuff is currently in the works. Uh, founders here did have an earthquake, which destroyed one of the hab domes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build a, another hab dome now. Luckily, it did not destroy the spaceport. The, um, I believe the space elevator should be done. Um, so that's good. So we're getting credits from that. We do have, uh, this here, which has a bunch of hab domes still currently trying to, uh, do their thing. We'll go ahead and just spend the money upgrading them. Uh, this is going to take a long time to fill regardless. So we'll just kind of let it go. Uh, as is and try and get that filled up for population purposes. We've got plenty of culture points to spend, but we're nowhere near completing the game because uh, we haven't really gotten the planet fully, um, fully under control. So taking a look, what kind of things do we have to do? So it'd be nice to try to get the temperature down a little bit quicker. So let's start there. So we're head right over to uh, temp, colony temp, and I haven't even had a chance to like, um, to build more hab domes like areas like this I want to replace these hab units with hab domes because these hab units are dangerous to have but I haven't had a chance to do it because I haven't even been able to stabilize uh, the um, stabilize the planet yet so we'll upgrade that and then I'll actually go ahead and even build maybe another well nope nope I guess we're just going to keep upgrading that and trying to cool the planet down that way it's going to take some time uh, we'll just have to be patient minus eight uh, maybe a few more days running will be it will be uh, not too bad. Pressure, I'd like to start getting down a bit. So why don't we take a look at pressure? So we've got a sequestration plant. It's currently at zero, which means the sequestration plant here has uh, zeroed it out, which is fine. So we're going to go ahead and build another sequestration plant. And I'll actually go ahead and rush that with some of my Genesis points I got. And uh, we'll go ahead and just try and get that going. Um, so that way I can hopefully, I don't mind spending these extra Genesis points. I want to get it up to minus 10. So there, and then we'll just let that one run. Uh, this one actually go up to minus 12, but we'll keep that one since it's obviously zeroing out. So this one at minus eight, we could just shut off. Uh, when the time comes and everything will be balanced. So for pressure, yep, that'll be good. So that'll be maybe two or so days or three days or something. Uh, oxygen as well, but that's already going down minus 18. What could I do to better that? So we could upgrade this. That would probably help. I, I know that one of my habdomes were destroyed. So if I was to build another habdome, then that would be ooh, that would be the 10 oxygen 20 water so we could do that um we could definitely do that so why don't we start that since we already had it originally let's start getting that built again so that'll be good. That'll be real good. Wait, isn't that what I'm doing here? Oh yeah, so we only need the one, sorry. Okay, so yeah, that will be good. Okay, perfect. And then water was the last thing and definitely the hardest. So minus 40, I don't mind it being at zero. I just wanna make sure I don't flood the planet. Uh, the Hab Dome's gonna put this at minus 20. So we just need something else to cancel it out. Now we could build a Hab Dome. Um, but the only reason it's so low at minus 40 is because the world temperature is really high. 
I do have cloud seeders here and I have been upgrading them. So why don't we just continue to upgrade all of these cloud seeders and that should start to help, especially when that other hab dome is constructed. So not bad, actually. Um, how's things looking for money? I'm almost thinking we're doing so good with money. 34,000. That's uh, not that bad. So I'm actually not going to build any more mines right now, I don't think. We've got a lot of money and we've got a good amount there. So why don't we just go ahead and clean these up? So they're at least ready to go when I do build more mines. Uh, when we start to populate the planet with different things like vegetation and creatures, we're probably going to want to start uh, putting more mines down because we're going to need them to offset the cost it usually takes to get these species growing on the planet. Uh, different things kind of... Um, the heck did I do? Oh, crap. I'm just trying to help these species grow and stuff. So we'll need to, uh, we'll need that for later on. Uh, research purposes. There's still lots of things I need to research. So we should probably do that. Um, if I wanted to take a risk and do things like try to increase heat fat or try to lower heat actually with the aerostat platform, uh, which isn't a bad idea because it generates credits, I could do that. Um, we are going to want to produce a lot of um, water at some point. So a comet sling might be useful for a bit. An infusion of 680,000 credits could help curtail a significant shift toward a focus on wealth and a global culture. I'm actually going to decline that. Um, we have to get these eventually. But we don't have to do it now. That can come a little bit later. So why don't we go ahead and research the Comet Sling uh, for water purposes since water is going to be one of the hardest things for us to get raised. And it's really the only thing at this point, aside from the high heat levels, it's like, oh, damn it. It's like the only thing at this point that's preventing us from being able to start putting plant life on the planet. And I think temperature will start going down a little bit faster here uh, soon. So it won't be bad. Um, pressure will be pretty balanced in a bit. Um, oxygen won't be too bad. And yeah, the water. All right, perfect. So we're going to leave it off here. There's not a whole lot more I could do. I'll let it run for a few days or so. I might check in a little bit later today. Um, and we'll see that as well. And then uh, we'll pop in in a few days. And hopefully everything should be balanced. And by then we should be able to start putting plant life on here. Or at least getting the research for that going. And uh, we'll be able to hopefully close this planet up here soon and have a nice looking uh, random planet. With that being said, thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.